and assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to another tutorial of object oriented programming i am with you md shajadur ahmed so today we are going to discuss about the second part of lecture 3 the java basic and program with java till now we have discussed about java keyword data types and variables so today we are going to discuss about access modifier in java so uh, let's begin so modifiers in java modifiers modifiers are keyword that is added before class variable method or data member to change their meaning so the modifier is also a keyword we have seen what uh, the list of keywords so we have found that modifiers are also a keyword so there are two types of modifiers in java on called access modifiers and another is called non-access modifier so let us first so uh, as the name suggests access modifiers in java help to restrict the access or specifies accessibility of a class constructor variable method or data member so it is actually uh, mentioned before declaring a class or a constructor or a variable or a method so it mention what kind of access the particular variables or particular classes have um, from other classes or from other package so there are four kind of uh, java access modifiers they are called private default protected and public so we we are gonna discuss all those uh, access modifiers with uh, particular examples so that we can understand how they work and what are the access level they actually have so we start with uh, private access modifier so the private access modifier is accessible only within a class that means uh, suppose you have more than one class but uh, you have declared a variable or a class or a method as private then uh, that particular variable or that particular method cannot be accessed from another class so let us see an example um, in this example we have created two classes class a and simple so you can see from there then uh, that there is two class one is class a and another is class simple so um, a a class content private data member and private method so we have declared a variable as private and also a method as private in class a and now we are trying to access the private method of class a from another method so when we does that we will have a uh, error message like compile time error and again when we going to uh, access the method which is a private method we again get a message error message compile time error so uh, this is because private uh, whenever we declare a variable or a method as a private it can only be accessible from within the classes from other classes it is it is impossible okay so this is called next one default access modifier so uh, <coughs> if we don't use any modifier suppose uh, we are declaring a variable or method without uh, specifying any modifier then it is treated as a default modifier okay the default modifier is accessible within only within a package so uh, when we declare a variable or ma a, a method as a default then it is only accessible within a package within a package means in uh, within a package there can be more than on classes and then all those class can access a default variable or a default method for an example um, in this example we have created two package on name is pack and another is my pack you can see that um, this one is called pack and this one is called my pack so uh, we are accessing the a class from outside the package so uh, this one is a class and we are trying to accessing uh, class a from outside the package um, since a class treated as default so because we haven't mentioned any access modifier and whenever we does not mention any uh, modifier types then it is treated as default so class a is a default access modifier so it so it cannot be accessed from outside the class so uh, outside the package sorry so 
this is a uh, this is another package so this package cannot access uh, a class which is a default class in this above example the scope of class a and its method msg is default uh, so that's why it cannot be accessed from another class like uh, there you can see that uh, class a is also a default class and method uh, method msg is also a default method so it cannot be accessed from another package but it can access from another class which is declared inside the pack uh, package pack okay so if we declare another class like um, say uh, here we declare another class class B next one is protected access modifier so the protected access modifier is accessible within a package so it can be accessible within a package at the same time it can also be accessed from outside the package but through inheritance only so uh, uh, there is only another modifier which is protected it can access within a package that means if there is more than one class within a package all those class can access a variable or method declared as a protected also uh, from another package it can be access uh, accessible but only through inheritance so we'll see an example of inheritance so inheritance uh, to um, to access a, a variable or method through a inheritance we need to use a keyword which is extend the protected uh, protected access modifier can be applied on the data member method or constructor it cannot be applied on class so please remember that protect uh, a class cannot be declared as protected never ever okay but we can declare a data member a method or a constructor so you can see there is an example so um, in this example uh, you can see that um, uh, we have created two package again one is called pack and another is called my pack uh, the a class of pack package is public so uh, the class a of the pack package is called as uh, declared as public so it can be accessed from outside the package so if we declared a class as public it can be accessed from anywhere any place um, and um, but message method you can see th this one is message method from <coughs> sorry package uh, pack package um, uh, is declared as protected you can see that it is declared at project protected so it cannot be accessed from outside the class can be accessed outside the class but only through inheritance it can only uh, accessible from outside the um, outside the package but or outside the class but only through inheritance so with the help of extend keyword so whenever we are uh, creating a inheritance of uh, another class then we have to use extend keyword you can see that uh, in second package there is a class which is a B class and we are saying that class B extend class A of another package that means class B inherit class A okay so there is a inheritance created so if we use the inheritance concept then a protected method is can be used in another another package otherwise it cannot be used in another package okay so this 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 is how we actually created uh, we actually create inheritance process so uh, you can see that in message there is a uh, in uh, message method there is a, uh, a string which is hello so if we call it from another package and by using inheritance and then try to print the uh, print uh, try to access the method it will print the hello so the last one public access modifier so the public access modifier is accessible from anywhere everywhere Okay, so it can be accessed from everywhere. It has the wi wide widest scope among all the modifiers. So it uh, it providing uh, th the varieties of scopes or the uh, the biggest scope among all those access modifier means it can be accessed from another class and another package as well. So it can be accessed from uh, another class and another package as well. Example of uh, pu uh, public access modifier, you can see that there is a two pack again 
one is uh, pa two package again one is called uh, pack and another is called my pack so then we have uh, declared a class in inside the first package as public and also declared a method which is called msg as public so uh, because we have declared the class and the method as public that means it can be accessed from other class as well and as uh, also from another package so you can see that uh, this is a different package and uh, the different package also can access the uh, a class and also can access the uh, the method the because it is declared as public so just remember that if uh, the public has the widest scope that means whenever we are uh, we are actually ma meaning to declare a variable or method or class that is can be accessed from anywhere uh, from another package or from another class then we have to declare it as a public class or a public method so let us now see a chart by which we can understand all together the scope of all those uh, access modifiers so you can see from the uh, chart there are, uh, first column is access modifier then within class within package outside package by subclass uh, that means within inheritance feature and outside package so we'll start with private so uh, as we uh, learned from the previous uh, discussion that uh, private uh, if we uh, declare a method or data member as private it can access within a class but it cannot access out uh, within a package that means if there is a uh, more than two class then class one uh, the mem private member of class one cannot be accessed from class two and definitely it cannot be accessed through inheritance and also cannot be accessed through from another package the next one is default so default uh, if we declare a method or a data member as a default it can be accessible within a class uh, it can be accessible within a package that means if there are more than two pack uh, two class in a package then all those class can access a, a method or a data member that is declared as default but it cannot be accessed outside the package through inheritance or without inheritance then the third one protected one so um, if we declare a method or data member as protected it can be accessed within the class it can be accessed within a package that means from different class as well it can be accessed outside the package as well that means from different package but it must be through inheritance so it should be used uh, the with the keyword extent okay and um, it is it cannot be accessed without wi outside the package that means from different package without using inheritance and the fourth one as we uh, learned from the previous discussion this one is the uh, widest one that means if we declared a data member or a method as a private then it can be accessed from anywhere and any place that means from different class and from different package as well so um, someone can t uh, say that okay fine so why not we declare all uh, all data member and all method all the time as public but you see then it came the security issue it become vulnerable to all those class so that's why it, uh, it uh, the access modifier is very important and uh, that's why it is very important to remember what are the scope all of all those uh, access modifiers so that whenever we need security or whenever we actually trying to hide a data member or a, a method from another class we can now the non-access modifier so let us now discuss about some non-access modifier so non-access modifiers are very rarely used in java programming but because we are dealing with the basics of java programming so we need to know what are the non-access modifiers so there are uh, four non-access modifier mentioned here static modifier for creating class method and variable um, final modifier for finalize the implementation of class method and variable abstract modifier so whenever we are going to deal with the abstract concept of op that particular time we need to de uh, declare a class or a method as a abstract and then synchronize and violate modifier which are used for threads so exception handling uh, like to providing some error message to the user 
everyone please stay safe stay home allah hafiz assalamu alaikum